Problem Solving, Model Edition, number 1.4. We can solve addition problems by making a bar model. We can model adding to and putting together. Tala has five books in a box. She puts three more books in the box. How many books are in the box? We ask ourselves, what do we need to find? We need to find how many books are in the box. Books in the box. It tells us right here. That's what we need to find, how many books are in the box. What information do we need to use? Well, to know how many books are now in the box, we need to know that there were five books and three more books. Five books and three more books. And we can use a bar model. This is the five books. This is the three books. Together, they're eight books. Five plus three equals eight. We could even use dots, couldn't we? We could use five dots and three dots. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three equals eight. Read the problem, use the bar model to solve, complete the bar model, and the number sentence. Now, there are eight ants, then one more ant joins them. How many ants are there now? What do we need to find? How many ants there are now? What information do we need to use? We need to know that there are eight ants and one more. Eight ants and one more. We add them together in an equation, eight plus one equals nine. Eight and one more is nine. And there's two parts to this bar model. There's one part and here's another part two parts to the bar model. We put them together to find out how many are in all. There are six cows in a barn, then three more cows join them. How many cows are in the barn now? What do we need to find? We need to find how many cows are in the barn now. What information do we need to use? We need to know that there's six cows and then three more cows. Six cows and three more cows. How many cows would that be? Six, seven, eight, nine. That would be nine cows. Six plus three is equal to nine. There are three sheep in the field. Some more sheep run to the field. Then there were five sheep in the field. How many sheep run to the field? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many sheep run to the field. What information do we need to use? We need to know that there were three sheep already in the field, and in the end there were five sheep. So there were three sheep in the field. We don't know how many ran to the field, but then there were five. Three plus some number is equal to five. We can start with three, three, four, five. If there were five, one, two, three, four, five, in the end, and three were in the field in the beginning, then that means two must have run to the field. Three plus two is equal to five. We can use the dots to help us, can't we? Some frogs are in a pond. Four more frogs jump into the pond. Now there are eight frogs in the pond. 
how many frogs were in the pond before. So it only tells us that some frogs are in a pond. So what do we need to find? How many frogs were in the pond before? We need to find out how many this some frogs is. What information do we need to use? We need to know that four more frogs jumped in and now there's eight. So some number of frogs were in the pond, four more joined them, now there's eight. Something plus four is equal to eight. Eight There's eight frogs in the pond now. If four join them, how many does that mean that there must have been in the beginning? There must have been four. Four plus four is equal to eight. Two logs and seven more logs? Two plus seven. Two plus seven is equal to, we have two logs and seven logs. That means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine logs. Six birds and four more birds. Can we write our equation? Six and means plus four more is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, and four more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten birds. There are four cats on a bed. Some more cats join them. Now there are nine cats on the bed. How many cats join them? So here it says some more cats join them. That's what we need to find out. That's what we need to find. What information do we need to use? That there are four cats on the bed, and now there are nine. Four plus something is going to equal nine. Four plus some number equals nine. What can we put here so that it will be equal to nine? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. We know there were four, so we can circle those. So how many must go here? One, two, three, four, five. Four plus five is equal to nine. When a missing number is missing in the bar model, you can use counters and dots to help you figure it out. Make as many dots as the total amount. We had nine, so we made nine dots. We knew there were four in this box of the bar model, so we circled four, and whatever wasn't circled went into the box. See? And just like this one, we knew there were eight, so we made eight dots. We knew there was a four here, so we circled the four, and whatever was left over was what, what went into the missing box of the bar model. Now you can do the practice and homework on pages 35 and 36, and our next lesson is going to be add zero. That's lesson 1.5. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you do okay when you do your practice and homework. Practice your addition facts so that you can be good at them. I'll see you next time. Bye.